Good afternoon. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. The NDRRMC reports that a total of nine people have died since Typhoon Quinta made landfall over Albay last Sunday. That's on top of the six injured and two missing reported in Calabarzon, Mimaropa, and Regions 6 and 7. Almost 49,000 families, equivalent to 209,000 people, were affected by Quinta in Regions 3 to 6 and Region 8. This includes some 48,000 people temporarily sheltered inside 704 evacuation centers within their respective regions. The agency estimates that Typhoon Quinta destroyed more than 429 million pesos in agriculture and infrastructure in regions 1 to 6. Calabarzon incurred most of the damage at almost 370 million pesos. Senator Nancy Binay denies reports circulating online that she voted for the observance of Marcos Day in Ilocos Norte. In a statement, Binay said she left the Senate committee meeting on the issue before she could make a stand due to a prior commitment. Thus, she was not part of the discussion of House Bill 7137, or the bill seeking to declare September 11 as a special non-working holiday to honor former President Marcos in Ilocos Norte. Binay reiterated that she did not vote for the approval of the bill and that she will not support any bill that will cause historical revisionism. And the Transportation Department is pushing back the mandatory implementation of cashless toll collection to December 1. This means motorists who have yet to get RFID stickers on their vehicles can still pay toll in cash for the whole month of November. The deadline was originally set on November 2, but toll roads are currently experiencing long queues, with motorists rushing to get the required RFID stickers. But the DOTR reminds the public that the deadline for mandatory cashless collections will no longer be extended beyond December 1. Vehicle owners are advised to make use of this extension to have their stickers installed as early as possible. Motorists who try to pay with cash beginning December 1 will be apprehended and given a ticket. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.